Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back. Uh, today we got the Blackjack 24 on the bench. I'm in the shop, and we're actually going to be going back and forth to the park pond. Uh, this boat actually had a gremlin, and I'm going to walk you guys kind of through my process on how I track down the gremlin. Maybe some tips on um, loose wires that may help you guys get through a session, etc. So uh, stick around. I'm uh, going to find a gremlin. Big B. We're going to clear ourselves. So I have not run this boat in a in a while. Got a little crosswind. I'm gonna do one a little test pass here. Make sure she's kind of tuned up. Might have my CG too far forward. Yeah. I think my CG is too far forward. Okay, so I might need to move my CG back real quick. So um, at the park pond, I was running these 8400 HCL HC uh, 2S twins, got Velcro on them, and I run them on each side of my motor, okay? As you guys seen, I did one full oval, it, it went good, no issue. The second one, um, I had a forward CG, and whenever I had made my pass, uh, it, it had power cut in the middle of my run, okay? So I knew something was going on all right uh i know i normally don't run my receiver like I, I i use this receiver for two different boats so i haven't ran this boat in a while so i had just put my receiver in okay so i, I brung it back when i pulled it out the water i blipped it check to see if i had power i did so i pulled the hatch off i made sure my my battery plugs were plugged in completely okay because it, it just did a power cut completely cut power uh, and that's all I noticed at the time so I, I made sure both of my plugs were completely plugged in okay I put the boat back on the water and I went to do another pass as you guys will see here What in the world? It's cutting out. Oh man, my, my receiver. I've got a wire corroded on that. Yes. Oh man. Okay, so I brought it back in. As you guys seen, I was fumbling around with my receiver, okay? And um, I, I thought that I had like a uh, like a corroded, a corroded JST, you know? Um, this is the JST that was on, on my boat. And I'm just walking guys through my process. Maybe this will help somebody out uh, track down a gremlin on their boat, okay? So um, this is the connector, like I said, I cut it off. And I've actually resoldered a new wire on. Okay, I got it fixed. But um, I looked at my connector, and it looked like this one right here had some corrosion on it. Okay, so uh, you know I was kind of pulling it in and out, messing with it. I actually, in my in my toolbox, I take with me to the pond. I keep this little bag right here. It's got like heat shrinks, 
little tubes, brass tubes, soldering wire, just a bunch of like miscellaneous uh, odds and ends. Um, and I, I pulled out one of my wires. This isn't the one I used, but um, you got here it is. You guys get the idea. This is the one I use. I keep this right here just for this because with RC boats, a lot of times you get water in your boat, especially where I run. I got salt water I run in. And uh, salt water gets on these uh, JSTs, it'll corrode it. So what I did is I actually took this little wire and I was sticking in each prong, okay, back and forth, just kind of knocking off some of the crud corrosion on these prongs okay and i plugged it back in all right and then i took a piece of heat shrink a big thick piece of heat shrink i keep in this bag okay and i cut me a little piece of it i got it i got the one i don't know where it's at i cut me a little piece of it like this okay and this right here may get you back on the water if you have a corroded jst it's not making good contact on your post a lot of times you can just take something, piece of paper, whatever, fold it up, okay, stick that piece of heat shrink in between, in, in between your two connectors, okay, and what that'll do, well, you, you guys get the idea, you guys get the idea, just stick it in between those two connectors right there, and that'll kind of put a little bit of pressure on the JST and the prongs, okay, so I did that, I had it you know basically stuck in there like that I put the top on and I threw it back in the water um, again I just noticed the power cut I, at this point I didn't notice losing steering I just noticed losing power to the motor okay uh, so I'll show you what happened next Something going on with my receiver. It, it basically, like, right off the bat, cut in power, and I noticed that I lost, I lost steering. Okay, when it cut power, I noticed I wasn't having any rudder. Whenever I would lose power, all right. So I opened the boat back up. I took my little piece of heat shrink off. This is actually this this little trick right here has actually got me through a session, you know. So I took that out. I pulled my receiver wire out okay and I started messing with it again I got my little wire I was going to clean the corrosion off okay and whenever I did when I pushed in on the corroded wire or the wire I thought was corroded it basically pushed all the way out and it was corroded but it was corroded so bad that it broke the prong in half okay so basically what and get in contact all right it was basically probably just just in there to about right there just enough to I could I would get power but when I would hit a little ripple on the water it would vibrate it back and I would lose power completely okay so I found that so I, you know, I basically called it quits with this boat, ran my Miss Geico 24, as you guys seen a couple videos back. I brought the boat home, and I basically, um, I cut, I cut the old wire off, okay, and I just used basically a servo wire, okay, um, all my old, like, servos, battery, battery connectors, uh, ESCs, everything that I have, I'll, I'll keep them. I'll actually cut the wires off. The good wires I put in a box like this. Like these are all good wires, brand new connectors that I change out. You know, maybe a, a ESC that had a brand new connector on it. I smoked it or something. Batteries that, you know, go bad, what have you, you know. I throw all my wires in here. Motor wires, I cut the wires off my motor wires. That's still you know good I mean? wires. So I basically cut, 
I basically cut my um, my 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 ESC wire, soldered a new wire on. I could have picked one that was the same color, but all the ones I had that were the same color, they seemed like they were a, a smaller gauge wire. Okay, uh, with an ESC, you have your your positive, your negative for the receiver power and your signal wire. But you got to keep in mind you're supplying voltage to your servo, so you wouldn't want to use like a uh, you know a, a micro servo wire like this, okay? That's like a, a real light gauge. You want to stick with the same gauge if you're going to extend the wire. You need to go with a heavier gauge. You, you feel me? But um, I basically just stripped the wire, soldered it, boom, and now we have a gremlin free boat i hope <laughs> okay so um i'll try to get it on the water here shortly okay um hopefully my little process helps you guys out i, I knew it was something to do with the receiver because i would lose power to the motor and the servo okay um losing power to the motor and servo could also be the battery connection a solder on your battery terminals your connectors could be bad okay so if you're having a complete power cut check the solder on the battery and esc connection you feel me and then i guess the next step would be to check your servo check for nicks in your 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 main esc wire if you're just losing power to the servo same thing could happen you could have a nick in the servo wire you could keep power to the motor but just lose power to the steering so um it's not a whole lot that could go wrong with a boat you only have it you know two channel receiver most boats esc servo so it's actually fairly easy to track down a, a gremlin all right uh, yeah, I, I keep all kind of little odds and ends. I've actually soldered up connectors on the fly at the at the I, like I keep this little torch. I've had this to the same torch for like two years, and uh, it's come in handy. Like, and I keep solder, big solder, little solder in case I have to solder a connector. Of course, you got to protect it. Um, you know, all kinds of little you know brass tubes. That stuff's come in handy. Um, just like long wires like this actually come in handy quite often. I have a real long one in my, my box. Like say you uh, run aground and you get dirt in your water pickup. You use that long wire to clean out the dirt. A lot of times you can't just clean it out right here on the water pickup. You have to go in through the top to clean it out. And uh, having a long wire in your, your boat box really comes in handy. Like I said earlier, cleaning out cleaning out the JSTs, you know, knocking the corrosion off because this stuff does get corroded over time, especially if it's an older boat. This one's about four years old. ESC is a couple years old. So, um, yep, we'll get it back on the water and uh, I'll try to do my four 6S Blackjack Geico comparison. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully it didn't keep you too long. We'll see you next time.